everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Tessie and this is Homestead Tessie where we bring old-fashioned traditions to life. First thing I'm working on is sauteing some ground beef because I'm going to be making sloppy joe tomorrow. The children are coming over and I'm going to have it all ready for tomorrow. All right. Looks pretty good. Peppers from the garden and some ground beef. Almost finished. Both of my Nesco dehydrators running. These are peppers. Lots and lots of peppers. So that'll take about 14 hours. I'm setting up my station here to make some grape jelly. This will be for a future video. It's a beautiful day. Oh, it's so pretty. So I want to clean some of my windows, do a couple product reviews, and just take you along on my day. The fun thing is, this time of year, it's so cool. It's so nice. You have so much more energy, you're able to get your work done, you're not sweating so much, and I just love days like this. But, we have to keep working now, don't we? So I moved my portable washing machine in the out porch because winter time is soon coming, and then this is how I wash my clothing in the winter time. So it's in the out porch, it won't freeze, and I can just keep washing my clothing just like anybody else would. It's just, I have a Oftentimes portable washing machine. people washing. ask me, well, how do you wash clothing in the winter? The same as I do in the summertime. I hang my clothes up on the line, even when it's zero degrees. Now I can't hang the clothes up when it's snowing, but as long as it's cold, and as long as the sky is clear, I'm hanging my wash out. So how does it get dry, you may ask? Well, it freeze dries really nice and it takes stains out of the clothing I'm gonna throw these pants away because they were really really dirty and I didn't think my washing machine was gonna get them clean but guess what they're clean and they're so old I think these are like 10 years old you know comfy sweatpants I love wearing cottons I love comfy stuff I don't like dressing up I don't like wearing fancy dresses cotton clothing for me like t-shirts like this. So a lovely, lovely subscriber gave me a set of t-shirts colored like this and bandanas to match. I was so excited. I love wearing bright colors. Did you know before YouTube everything I wore was black? I wore everything black because I was conscious of my weight. Now I love wearing colors and I've been wearing colors now almost five years. I love days like this when I don't have a whole lot of extra work to do and it's just nice I can go about my day and I can enjoy my day and in a quiet and more calm way instead of rushing around trying to get everything done all right everyone so let's go in the garden I have been really working in the garden my rototiller wasn't working and so my son and my husband are going to fix it so I was hoeing the garden by hand and that was a lot of work but I got it done I got it looking good and now we're just going to harvest some herbs in the videos following in the videos in the past I've showed you harvesting all of my wonderful tomatoes and peppers and potatoes and now it's left to my passion and that is my flowers and my herbs this is my favorite time of the year oh, I'm just so happy the nights are cooler and it's just so so nice to have the fall what's your favorite time of the year mine is harvesting did you know that's what my name means harvester reaper Teresa is a reaper
course of the day, I may have a product review or something like that. And while I'm sitting here, I'm just going to show you this product review. This is a pair of shoes. Now, this pair of shoes comes from Fitville, and they have all kinds of shoes. I'm really excited to do this product review because this is something is a needed item in my life. So, this is Fitville, and let me show you what they look like. So this is their sneaker, their running sneaker. First thing I notice is it's really good quality made. It's very heavy duty. The lining and everything is really good quality. The leather on it is good quality. You can just feel it that it's something that you are really going to enjoy. And I'm going to enjoy this. So let me go put them on. All right, these are size 9, and they fit accordingly to size. So I wear a size 9, and they fit perfect. These are 9 wide. I like the way they look. I like the way they feel. I'm a happy customer. Thank you for coming along with me as we washed the clothing, as I showed you working in the kitchen a little bit. We went down to the garden and just spent the morning with me. So this is all just in the morning time. Then in the afternoon, I will edit videos, and I will comment people, and I will do all that computer stuff. I find it more enjoyable being outside, and sometimes I take my computer outside, and that way I can enjoy nature while I'm commenting all of you back. I also want to give this special moment to say thank you, because I did in the end of my videos recently, I've been doing about giving me the thumbs up. I've gotten twice as many thumbs up and that really has helped because it boosts my videos up. In fact, a video that was a 4 out of 10 went to a 2 out of 10, all because of the interaction of these thumbs up. I really want to thank you, you guys so much for doing that. My theory is reducing my ads on my videos and maybe getting more people to watch my videos, that means I would still get paid the same. but. I wouldn't have so many ads and by all of you who are supporters of my channel giving me that thumbs up helps me to not have as many ads and helps me to grow where new people can find my videos and that will make up for the difference that's my theory <laughs> so far it's working so thank you guys so much for doing that for me any interaction with the thumbs is really really positive and YouTube just sees a lot of reaction and interaction with it and giving the comments you know it's all about how people are relating to a video and so if there's a lot of movement on that video and people are commenting and thumbs up YouTube Tessie's doing something right people are interacting with her <laughs> you know it's the little things my friends it's the little things so give me that thumbs up I wish we had four thumbs <laughs> That's okay. I know a lot of you watch me on the TV, YouTube TV, and I don't think you can give a thumbs up. That's okay. I love you. <laughs> but all those that can give me a thumbs up, I hope you do, because it really, really does. Bless me in ways that it's hard to explain. Well, everyone, I hope you're having a great day, and I hope wherever you are that you're feeling blessed and loved. And I hope you come visit me tomorrow at my home, because you never know what I'm up to. I'm trying all kinds of new things and taking you away on shopping trips. Well, it's not really shopping trips. I don't really shop a whole lot, but it's, it's fun days where I have $10 in my pocket and I take you along and see what I can buy. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow. So I guess we'll say goodbye. I really don't have anything else to say other than I really enjoy all of your beautiful comments that you give me. and. Thank you guys so much. One last thing I just thought about. I really want to thank you guys for all of the beautiful comments you gave me on my video about gossip. That was the first video in five years that I didn't get one nasty comment. Hmm. You know, on the videos you think you're going to get it the most, the videos you don't. And I'm really, really thinking about that and contemplating about that. Of all the videos I've ever done, that was the first one that so far I haven't gotten anything bad about it. And I just think that's remarkable. And maybe, hopefully, I spoke to somebody. But you all spoke to me, and I really want to thank you guys for that. It was not an easy video for me to make, but, you know, I'm really glad I did. 
it seemed like by making that video, it seemed like it really helped me as well. It, it did. It helped me as well. I've been feeling really blessed, just so utterly blessed of having all of you in my life. And thank you, YouTube, for giving me this platform. A lot of people bellyache about YouTube and not paying them and all this and that and not giving them the credit. But you know, if it wasn't for YouTube, I would never have met all of you wonderful, amazing people. YouTube, I thank you. So this video is dedicated to YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you for everything that you've done in my life and given me the opportunity to bless all of you and for you to bless me. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And the leaves are starting to blow. And we're hearing the geese flying south for the winter. I believe fall is just around the corner, and I couldn't be happier.